One of the questions we get often is how does Filmic Pro Log version 2 stack up against the native iPhone camera app? In particular, the latest phone, the iPhone XS. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun, and today we're going to take a very unscientific look at these two camera apps. Is using Log V2 better? And really, when should you use one or the other? One nice, very simple, but important app update Filmic Pro made recently was adding the name Log V2 in the imaging panel. We got this question all the time, and so I may or may not have suggested this to them. Before we look at these shots, understand these are pretty extreme examples, and this is just test footage. These are definitely not beauty shots, and these are more than likely shots I wouldn't even shoot with a smartphone. Okay, now here's a skylight I exposed on the bright skylight. This is Log V2 shooting with Filmic Pro. It's noisy, there's no question about that. And now here's the same shot using the native iPhone camera, exposed the exact same way. It's also very noisy. But you'll notice how much more detail you can see with Filmic Pro Log, the exact same shot. Albeit, again, it's very noisy. This would not be a shot I would actually use. This is just for test purposes. And now here is Log V2 corrected. Just a very simple color correction. Again, compared to the native iPhone camera app. And then a side-by-side, -side, color corrected and the iPhone camera. So besides the noise, it's just inherent here because of the small sensor size. I would say in this situation, I would go with Filmic Pro Log. Again, it's noisy, but you are getting more dynamic range. Okay, next up, shooting outside a window. I exposed on the exterior, shooting through the window. And now here's the same shot using the native iPhone camera. The interior walls look a little bit muddy. You're losing color information as well. You can really see that in the side-by-side. -side. Filmic Pro Log, you're seeing the color of the chairs, the nice red. The native iPhone camera, they just look almost black. And here's Filmic Pro with a light color correction. Again, these are just test shots. I wouldn't typically shoot something like this, but it's an interesting way to compare the two cameras. And then again, the iPhone camera. It's shot with a baked in look, and so there's no color correction or anything applied here. And then side by side. This one to me, Filmic Pro Log wins hands down. Not only do you have more detail in the image, but more color information as well. Now this third example was pretty interesting. Here I exposed for the Jeep on the left hand side of the frame. But if you look on the right side, you'll see that in the shadow area, it's really noisy. It's much noisier than I would have thought. I did not use an ND filter and the shutter was several thousandth of a second. So the difference in the lighting was pretty extreme. And here's the same shot with the native camera. Now here the extended dynamic range really kicked in. By the way, I have no idea who this guy is standing in the middle of the frame. I was shooting and he walked up and started standing there, but I just kept shooting. If you shoot 4K 30 or under, and I'm shooting 24 frames per second here, the iPhone doesn't just take a frame every 30th of a second. Instead, it takes alternating frames every 60th of a second, alternating between bright and dark exposures. And then the processor, the A12, analyzes each pair and intelligently combines them to expand the dynamic range of the video. Yes, I just read that off the internet, but more or less what's happening is kind of a pseudo HDR. And here, it actually does a pretty good job. Although it is still pretty noisy in the shadows, and it almost gets kind of muddy over there too. So here's the side-by-side. -side. Filmic Pro is uncorrected at this point. Both are pretty noisy in the shadows. And now here's Filmic Pro Log with a simple color correction. As compared to the iPhone native camera which in this particular shot is holding up pretty well. And now the side-by-side -side with the color-corrected log and the native iPhone camera. So in this shot, I would say the winner is actually the native iPhone camera app. That extended dynamic range has really helped the video quality. But let's hold on one second here. Shooting flat in lower light is sometimes a better option with Filmic Pro. So here's the same thing shot flat, and the shadow noise has been diminished here for sure. And then here it is with a simple color correction applied. And compared to the native iPhone camera, 
I would say now the noise level is pretty similar, but I like how the flat is a little less contrasty. Remember the native iPhone has a baked in look, which you can of course change, but it being lower bitrate, thus lower quality footage, I typically wouldn't do too much to it. And speaking of bitrate, if noise is a problem, you can always shoot natural. This gives you a similar baked in look like the native camera app, but at a much higher bitrate, which that alone is worth using a third party app. So here the natural setting probably looks the best, especially when looking at the noise levels and the shadows, and then including the overall dynamic range. So in that case, I still would pick Filmic Pro as the winner here. Although for best results, you probably wouldn't shoot log in that scenario. So really it just depends on the situation when the best time to use log or not use log is. Since they added log version two, I pretty much use it exclusively in every situation. The extended dynamic range in the native app also automatically works in Filmic Pro. Evidently when the shutter gets faster though, I don't know the exact engineering behind it, but you can definitely see it working. These shots are from the short film I made recently called First Dance. You can see the dynamic range in this shot here in the doorway and then all the way back out there at the street and then the sky in the background. Although the sky gets a little bit funky, almost looks like HDR artifacting. And then this shot on the porch with the bright light behind him, similar to the previous test shot I did, but in this case, the shadow areas look great. And you can see that white car back there, perfectly exposed, but yet the dark jeans and the dark shoes, you can see detail in there. Also, this shot inside the house shooting out a window. Really great dynamic range here, and all shot log version 2 using the iPhone XS Max. So what do you think? Do you use Filmic Pro Log for certain shots or for everything? Or do you stick to the native camera apps, or maybe a different app? Let us know in the comments below. To learn more about color correcting Filmic Pro Log, please check out our website at ifilmmakers.tv. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, definitely do that now so you won't miss any of our future content. And we will see you guys in the next video.